Path of Titans will have baby dinosaurs at one point or another and it's always an ample opportunity for the modders of the game to follow up by releasing baby dinosaurs for current and upcoming mods that they are working on. Today I'm going to be showcasing baby dinosaurs that are coming to Path of Titans through mods. Yes, you heard it here straight, mods. That being said, the timestamps are on the screen now. We're looking at four baby dinosaurs. But other than that, let's get right into the video. Firstly, let's start with the Acrocamphosaurus. Acrocamphosaurus is a mod that is created by Dr. The Eleventh, who also goes by Divine Beasts, if you know about the Shantungasaurus and the Zucheng Tyrannus as well. That being said, the Acrocamphosaurus mod is an apex carnivore, and it's an absolutely badass looking carnivore. However, you know what isn't really badass, but is actually absolutely adorable and very, very cute? The baby dinosaur that comes with Acrocamphosaurus that Dr. Dr. The Eleventh has been teasing us. This mod and this little guy looks absolutely adorable and not really that terrifying, which is good because it's a baby and I don't want to be scared shitless from it. That being said, here is a picture of the adult and the baby. The baby you can see looks very similar to the adult, however there is a stark difference here. Obviously the eye is bigger and obviously the dinosaur itself is a lot smoother looking than the adult which looks a lot rougher, which is pretty neat. We also have a picture and showcase of the growth for this dinosaur which was showcased to me by Dr. The Eleventh. The growth animation you can actually see the baby dinosaur itself grow out and flesh out a little bit as it gets bigger, mainly its head and its belly is getting bigger here which is pretty nice in my opinion. Then the legs as well seem to be getting bigger and the hump on the back gets bigger as well. You can definitely see that the baby is very baby looking as the adult is very big, bad and dangerous which I think is pretty neat. And yeah, that's the Acrocamphosaurus mod and showcasing the growth of it. What do you guys think about the little baby in the Acrocamphosaurus mod? Another mod created by Dr. The Eleventh up next with this is the Zucheng Tyrannus baby. And this little dinosaur, it's not really a little dinosaur, is it? Zucheng Tyrannus is huge, you know? But the baby, the baby is a tiny little thing. Look at it, it's so cute looking. That being said, here it is on the screen now so you can gaze upon its cuteness. The baby is a lot slimmer than the adult, which actually makes it look like a juvenile rex. The snout of the baby is also a lot narrower and seems a bit longer, even though it actually is similar size to the adult, which is also pretty nice. The body proportions are good for the baby as well, and the legs are very skinny. They're like big noodles, which is quite funny. I do understand that the baby is meant to be skinny, but oh my god, if you slapped my face on the picture of the baby Zucheng time, you'll literally have my legs on a dinosaur with my face on it. That's pretty much what Zucheng Tyrannus baby is. The belly as well is also very skinny, but like I said, it's a baby dinosaur. It's going to be very skinny. And overall, I think the, the Zucheng Tyrannus baby is more of a sprinter than a long distance marathon runner. However, it will grow up to be that badass marathon runner. What? which Zucheng Tyrannus adult is. That being said, we also have a look at the dinosaur's growth because there is a gif of it. Now, you can see from the start, the growth is very slim, but as the dinosaur grows over time, its head gets meatier, its body thickens out, and its legs get a lot thicker as well, and just the back of the head as well and the neck get thicker overall. And it's very nice. It actually grows into the dinosaur's model, which I think overall is a very nice addition to the game. And I think it just is very, very smooth overall. And that's just my thoughts on the Zucheng Tyrannus. I think Dr. The Eleventh has done absolutely incredible modeling the baby dinosaurs and doing the seamless growth for the baby dinosaurs in their mods. I wonder if Shantungasaurus will also get this love as well. Now the second last baby dinosaur I'm going to be covering today is Argentinosaurus. We actually have a glimpse of Argentinosaurus because this dinosaur isn't out yet. It's an upcoming mod. However, this is the baby for it and this is through the Primordial Tyrants mod. This little guy was shown off in the Primordial Tyrants Discord server by Poliostasis who is one of the developers of the mod and it shows a transition from baby to adult dinosaur. 
I suspect that Argentinosaurus might be the next dinosaur to be added through Primordial Tyrants because it's been teased a lot lately. A lot of the sauropods have been teased lately. Maybe they're waiting for growth to release this little guy. That being said, it looks really nice. I love the transition from small to big. You've got big eyes, a very skinny neck, no spikes along the back and overall the back as well. Speaking of it, it's actually very skinny and just not that bulky. But as it grows and thickens out, its neck goes from a very thin noodle to a very thick noodle. Its eyes shrink like a baby's would and it grows spikes and spines across the back of the dinosaur and the back as well gets a lot thicker too which I think is absolutely fantastic I love what they've done with the Argentinosaurus and I cannot wait for Argentinosaurus to come out personally it's one of my most looked forward to mods because it's a sauropod after all what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments down below Gigantosaurus or Giganotosaurus is up next this is also a Primordial Tyrant mod, and it is the final mod that I will be covering today. This is the Giganotosaurus baby. I think this one is absolutely fantastically made. You can actually see an image of the baby, the subadult, and the adult version of Giganotosaurus, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. I think it is very well made and put together overall. The baby Giga itself actually looks quite nice. The legs get bigger as the dinosaur grows older because obviously it goes to the gym. The eyes shrink into the skull, and think, speaking of the skull, the dinosaur's head goes from proportionally too big for the baby to a nice proportion of the head size for the adult, which is pretty common for babies as they grow into their heads or ears or whatever you want to call them. I still haven't grown into my ears, so please don't call me out on that. I already know. The dinosaur's head to body ratio is, like I said, pretty nice, and it's also getting bigger when it gets older. Overall, I absolutely love this model. It grows spines as well as it grows, which I think is pretty neat. It really does grow into the Giga model, and I think it's absolutely fantastic and a very nice addition to come to the game what do you guys think about pt's giga let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts on which modded baby dinosaur is your favorite let me know other than that everybody that is it for the baby dinosaurs that are coming to path of titans so far that we know of through mods hopefully we do see some from like the jfd mods and some other mods that are already in existence like neo veneta i hope that gets a baby as well i would like to say that my server once baby dinosaurs are added it will be wiped because we'll be removing all dinosaur mods that do not have a baby because personally we think it's a bit unfair maybe we'll keep nanosaurus because it's pretty much like hipsy in the aisle that being said though this is interesting we're now seeing a flurry of mods which have baby dinosaurs for them which means that maybe we could be getting baby dinosaurs quite soon that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you are new feel free to subscribe to stick around for more videos like this across a wide range of dinosaur games but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one peace